Hello. So, I thought I'd do a random Facebook video today. As you can see, I'm wearing a hoodie that says hubby. Obviously, I'm not the hubby. But, I love the color. I love how huge it is. It's a little snug on Rocky right now, so I get to steal it. And mine is a little snug right now that says wifey. So I'm going to steal city for now. So I thought today, since there's no questions lined up, I was playing with my little... What's it called? Pinnacle? Well, I can't remember what it's called. But I was playing with it. It's funny because it doesn't work for Rocky. It's like it's picked me. And I asked some questions because I've been feeling a little off on some subjects. And I asked if doing a random set session would be good and said yes, so I figured I'd try it. And before we do that, I thought I'd kind of show you a few things in our room. And I also have my big stack of cards. I figured I could just get Seth to pull some cards and give some information because I don't use them that much right now. And they're really fun. There's mermaids, fairies, mermaids and dolphins, unicorns, and goddess cards. And then I did win a deck from TJ. Wellness Fair that was in Grand Prairie, Alberta. TJ Boyne. T-J-B-O-Y-N-E, if you want to look him up. He is really good at what he does too, and he gave me lots of information. When I went and watched him, he, I guess I was glowing the most, or, you know, stuck out to him, and so I was one of the people who got picked to have a message read. And he asked me if I knew who Esther was. I said yes. I was kind of laughing. And he said, well, you're going to be the next Esther. You're going to do what Esther does with Abraham. Well, that was really funny because it was the first time I was presenting with Seth. And that was the hopes. And that's what I've been told by Seth and by other people. But it's always nice when someone out of the blue who you've never talked to about any of that says it to you. It just reaffirms it to you. Oh, here's the other cards I won. Okay, so let me just grab them. So, they're not something I would pick myself, because I'm all into fairies and uniforms, but there's these Archangel Michael ones, but they're also Doreen Virtue, who most of these cards are. Um, so, one, two, three, four, five are Doreen. One is this pair of other people, and this is Lucy Cavendish. These ones are, it's a huge box, but they're still same size. So she does really great art or whoever she works with does. So it's interesting and I was asking for cards and then I won a pair so I was pretty happy. But I figured I'd show you guys a few things first. So this is my little like zen spot. This is a really cool tree that lights up. It also turns off it's just on batteries, which is convenient. I've seen them in, like, four-foot-tall, like, trees, which are so cool and I want later, but they're, like, $400. That was only $30 on sale. There's this little snow globe with, I think they're dogs, like, wolves, maybe? But it's just so cute because it's so tiny. This is, like, my mom's. It's a hippo. He's actually a toothpick holder, but I scared the kids were going to break it because they broke this other one. So I brought him up here. And he's got pink nails, which is so cute. This is a four-leaf clover I bought for Rocky. This actually holds a tea light, but it's just really pretty. And I'm kind of scared of burning it and not wax all over it. I'm going to go clean it off, but I like to look at it. This is our diffuser, which we use all the time. It's on, you can barely tell. And it changes colors, which is sweet for my mood. I put different oils in it. My favorite's peppermint, because it makes it smell really fresh in here. This is our owl, 
which is pretty cool. I got on Commercial Drive in Vancouver. This is like a tree lady, which I think is so cool with her big arms that are tree branches. And she's actually got like curves and stuff. That's a little surfboard we got from Costa Rica. And then this is some kind of like herbal thing. Of course, it's written in Thai, so it just says oil with herbs. But imagine like you're really sick and that really strong, like herby smell that they put in lots of medicine, especially natural ones. That's what it smells like. Apparently, if you run it, rub it on your temples when you got a headache, it clears it. Don't mind that like horribly disorganized shelf. For whatever reason, it is always a mess, no matter how many times I clean it. So we picked up these little containers and I'm going to try and organize it once and for all. We just got a bunch of Christmas presents like a month ago from my parents because we went there late. So there's like fishing supplies and those little bowls and bookends and random things. But, and all our sage that we burn. But uh, yeah, I'm going to organize that. Those are all our notebooks. Seth books, Abraham books, there's an Italian book because we were planning on going to Italy, we probably still will at some point, but I'm not going to bother learning it quite yet, though I do know a few words because I've been there before. Those are more books, some of those, Sandra, or what is it, Sanaya Roman, this is Rocky's new favorite author. There's Soul Love, there's Spiritual Growth, and she's got one on money. He doesn't have it here because he's been reading it, but he's obsessed with it. And I recommend all of them. I recommend any book on subjects like that. This is a painting Rocky bought me because he doesn't like prints, and I'm obsessed with the ocean and surfing. And it's really comforting to have here when we're in the middle of the country. Um, over by our desk, this is a black raven, because Rocky loves ravens. He held a baby raven once, and he's obsessed. This is my little Buddha. Actually, I bought a mini one like that big from Thailand that I'll put out sometime. It's a birthday card for my niece. Very creative. And this is a little honey pot. We'll fill it with honey eventually. This is a little like lettuce potato head thing, but it looks so much like my dog Lily that my mom bought it. And it's so cute. This is my absolute favorite card I've ever received. It's from Hillary. At the end of the day, your feet should be dirty, your hair messy, and your eyes sparkling. She said it seemed very country, which it is, and it's like my favorite thing, which she didn't know. And then over here at the window, you guys want to have good energy. So we have an anchor, a little dish, a little rock, a little mermaid, some candles, my very first crystal. I have like a big giant clear ball one too, but I'm scared to put it out for it to get knocked over. So this isn't that stable of a place. That's our R. We've also got a W and an F hidden away for radiant wildflower. And that's just a giant Valentine's Day card at Rocky. Outside, you can see the build site is progressing. Oh, you can actually see my dog, Simon. Hi, Simon. Hi. Yeah, I can't zoom in, but that is my dog, Simon. Poking around, probably looking for something to do. You can see some logs back there we're starting to store. Hopefully that storage container can be emptied this fall. Pull our stuff away. So, now that you've seen parts of my room and how horribly dirty it is, don't tell my nieces because they'll think I'm a huge hypocrite because I always make them clean. I'm getting to it, I swear. So, Oh, pendulum, that's what it's called, not a pinnacle. Pinnacle's like a term. But this is my pendulum. And I'm wondering. I'll show you guys how to use it again, just in case anyone new watches. So mine is like a clear ball. I really liked it because it's just round. And some people hold it at the end, some people hold it closer. It's whatever feels better. 
you always want to clear it, so you always want to ask, show me a yes answer, wait, and then show me a no answer, and wait, and then ask, because sometimes you'll get different energy that wants to come through. And so I'll just do like an example. So I'll show you my hand too, so you can see that I'm not moving my hand. It'll just move on its own. Can you show me a yes answer? So it's going to the right. So I'm gonna stop it. Can you show me a no answer? It's going to the left. That's usually what it does, but once in a while it'll switch. So I always have to make sure, otherwise you get backwards answers. So, um, I don't know. Am I going to be touring this year with Seth? <laughs> it says yes. I find it hard to believe, but I would like to believe it. Um, and we'll be do starting probably in Alberta and BC and then moving to the US. So probably by next year we'll be touring in the US. So if there's any cities in Alberta, BC, or the US that people want us to stop by, we are open to suggestions because we'll just get an RV and start, or motorhome and start traveling. So, should I pick some cards with Seth next? says yes, which was what I was going to do anyways, but, you know, let's put that away. Oh, and just before I bring Seth through, I'm obsessed with aloe water right now. I always put aloe on when I have a sunburn, but this stuff's like water, but it's like got little chunks in it, but you can just drink them or like chew them slightly. And this one doesn't have it, but the last one I had had a bit of grape juice in it, so it gives it just a tiny bit of flavor. Rocky didn't like it at first, but now he likes it because it's super hydrating, at least for my body. And it's so cheap, it's like two dollars for this giant bottle. So if you're someone who doesn't love drinking water all the time, you can switch and do half aloe, half water, back and forth. So. I'll get Seth to come through, and then we'll start pulling some cards and just giving some information. I wonder if this tells me. I just can't tell how long I've been doing this for. Of course, it's not going to show me anything. Um, it left. Okay, well, let me just check what time it is. Three ten. Okay, so I'll go to like four ish. Okay, let's bring Seth through. Hello. It's been reduced to cards, I see. Okay. The cards I want to pick are Magical Messages from the Fairies. So, we will start here. Now, I could just pick a couple cards because I know what people want to hear, but... Typically when you take them, some people tap them, shake them, whatever to clear them. It's whatever works better for you. Oh, I see some of these are backwards. And then you just shuffle, and you can either shuffle and then just pick five in a row. Or, like many people do, you just keep shuffling until they pop out. Like, you'll be doing this over and over, and then one will kind of hit. That's a message that wants to come through. So here's one. We've got children. So that's our first one. I'm going to pick four. There's another one. Pregnancy. Okay. There's another one. Oh, there's two. Okay, so we've got all four. Express your individuality. 
son. Interesting, three of the four were about children. So, let's start first with this one because it's different. Express your individuality. You see, she's very flamboyant, older woman. It says, allow your true self to shine because you're awesome. With this card, right now there's like this craze with rainbow hair, bright hair, rainbow eyebrows, different makeup trends, feather eyebrows, um, glitter boobs, I've Brandy has seen on Facebook, all sorts of festival clothing coming through into everyday life. So, this is more about, you don't have to look the norm because there's no norm anymore. You can dye your hair whatever color you want, you can get tattoos, you can get piercings, you can wear a hot pink sweater with bright green pants, you can wear it whatever you want, no one's going to judge you because that's the norm now. And... It's pretty boring to just wear jeans and a t-shirt, you know, plain t-shirt every day, so why not have some fun with your wardrobe? You'll find when you do it, you get compliments, you'll feel happier, you'll feel more yourself, and you'll just find you attract other people who are into the same stuff. If you see some kind of like quirky hat or belt or whatever at the store, go for it. If you want to go small, you could wear a regular outfit and just add one kind of different fun thing. But you'll see, especially Rocky has noticed when he was in Chinese airports for layovers, they're not afraid to wear whatever the hell they want. They'll wear full-on snowsuits in July. They'll wear bright colors, tight clothes on men, like whatever. It's just what they like to wear, they wear. And no one judges them. So, we've got these three cards, all about kids. So first, we've got children. And it says your connection with children is part of your life's purpose. We've got son. Your son is watched over and protected as, he's, as he explores his world. And then we've got pregnancy. So we've got the birth of a child brings great blessings to you and the world. So. This centers a lot around Brandy. She's needed some reassurance lately. This is in the cards, as they say, in the future. Near future, very near future. But also the listeners. Someone is struggling with a son. Perhaps they're being a little butt at school, they're acting out, they are posing as needing more of your time and energy lately, but as the card says, the sun is watched over and protected as he explores, so, you know, you're supposed to make mistakes here and then learn from them and move on. So if they stumble, they get back up. Um... They've always got their guardians watching over them. They've got known physical. They've got past, you know, transitioned uncles, grandmas, grandpas, friends, people from other lives that you don't even know about right now. They're always watched. No one is ever truly alone. So you, you don't have to worry as much. You don't have to be that bubble wrap mom. And if they are acting out, just show them that you'll love them no matter what. You might be frustrated with them, but you're always going to love them so that they realize they don't need to do these bad things to get your attention and reinforce the positive, focus on the positive so that that's more of what they want to give you. And then they'll stop acting out. They'll just continue to be happy. So then we have children in general, and this one has a girl on the card. So, your connection with children is part of your life's purpose, is what it says, but in a more general sense, 
everybody's life purpose is. Everybody has children around them. You either have your own kids, you have nieces and nephews, you have friends with kids. Unless you are a hermit, everyone has children around them. And this can expand to animal babies and animal children as well. So if you have a puppy, if you have a kitten, rabbits, maybe baby birds that hang around your home. There's always youth around. And they bring a different energy, a different vibrancy. They've got that innocence. The way they look at the world isn't jaded. So kids say the darndest things. They'll think of things differently. And they'll change your perspective a lot of the time. Um, yes. So, not necessarily your life's purpose is to be a teacher, a daycare worker, or anything like that, but children will always be in your life and help you with your life's purpose and your goals because they'll bring a good energy to your life. Last, we have pregnancy. So, the birth of a child brings great blessings to you in the world. Again, kids have really green energy. Being pregnant is a very wonderful and unique experience. And Randy noted to Rock yesterday, she was looking on Instagram and everybody's pregnant. Everybody just had kids. Not even in her feed, in the general search feed of things that might interest you. Everybody's pregnant. And she was just kind of laughing because it just seems like a boom right now. But it's also what she's attracting into her experience of seeing all these pregnant people. And yes, there are lots of people who are pregnant right now. Little People Big World, both the twins, are pregnant right now. Um, the Bachelors, Jade and Tanner are pregnant. Eva Shockey just had a baby. She's going to have another one again very soon. Her brother and wife just had a baby. Randy knows lots of friends who have just had babies in the last couple months. Or like old friends from school. So yes, right now there's lots of pregnancies going on. There's a number of viewers who are pregnant or their partner's pregnant at very early stages. They might not even know yet. And... In the next couple of years, there'll be lots of people having more pregnancies. So this is just kind of to alert you that that's where your life is heading. And it could be in the next two years or it could be sooner. It's just what you want. So let's put those cards away. I'm just going to shuffle them all a little. Alright, so we're done with the magical messages from the fairies. I think next let's try the big deck with the mermaids. Okay, so this is the next deck. You can see it's much bigger but it's just a big box once you open it. So Oracle of the Mermaids. See? All that extra space, these are the cards. They are a little bit bigger, but oh no, they're not even bigger. It's just the box that makes them appear bigger. So these ones have a couple words on them each. We've used them for you know a weekly reading on our page before. It comes with a big book. So if you don't have access easily to non-physical through automatic writing, knowing a channeler, being able to channel yourself or talk to your guides, then you can refer to the book. These ones are actually from Kohl's, which is surprising to see them in a big chain, but again, it shows you how common this kind of information is becoming. So, for these cards, for information for viewers, let's pick five. Start now. One. So this is <laughs> endurance. Keep going. Oh. 
dreams. Vivid dreaming, dream messages, dream teaching. Dreams are a lot more powerful than you even know. So let's get one that really pops out. Honor the masculine, respecting men, embracing the masculine divine. Almost seems misogynistic, but we'll explain more. We'll have two more will fall. Farewell to the moon. Appreciate and enjoy the lunar light and cycles. It was just a full moon recently, and there's a very bright moon last night. Mourn the moon and its influence on people. And the last card from the mermaids. Okay. Water flight. Heaviness lifts, burdens are cast away, weightlessness. Doesn't that sound nice? Okay. So, Seth is not in the book. We'll put the book away. <sighs> Let's show you the five cards from the mermaids. So let's start with the first one. Which we're going to add the last one to. They're both blue. So, endurance, keep going. It shows a couple mermaids and some fish swimming through some currents, likely. So it's the other side. Whatever you're struggling with right now will not be a struggle as soon as you release the stress you have related to it, the worry, the grief. If it's too tough to do writing right now, and often something really powerful has a lot of weight behind it, it's not always easy to write about it, but you can just go about your day, do some fun things, go outside. Try to get your mind off it, and then you'll, instead of blocking and holding it back, you'll, like, release your guard, your walls against it, which will allow it to resolve itself. So, that one is about, don't give up, because you're very close, and it's about perseverance. It doesn't have to be so hard, but if you just keep going it will get easier and then it will sort itself out which is what water flight tells you you see she's almost floating floating with the her hair wrapped around her amongst all the whales who are quite peaceful so heaviness lifts burdens are cast away weightlessness which is to do with her floating this means keep going then it becomes easy all of a sudden it will click for you it won't be so hard all this build up you've put around the subject it will release and dissipate and you won't feel like it's the end of the world and it's the hardest thing in the world it will become easy and it will be enjoyable again and it will work out so also with this, you can see she's floating. Not everyone can just go float with great whales. Gray whales, blue whales, all that. So, maybe try a sensory deprivation tank, a float tank. You can float, you'll feel weightless. They liken it to feeling like a baby in a womb, although, how would you know what that feels like when your, your memory doesn't stay with you from that time? But... It's like being in a cocoon of warm water, you float, you can relax, it heals your body, it heals your skin, if you have acne, it clears it up, it's great for your hair, there's no noise, there's no distraction, there's just you and your thoughts, and you can connect with your inner self, and it feels wonderful. So, next we will go to dreams. So she's got jellyfish floating around her. She looks like she's half asleep. She's holding herself. Vivid dreaming, dream messages, dream teaching. Dreams aren't just dreams. They are real. They are either other worlds 
or they're this sort of playground where you get to go to and interact and have these experiences to help teach you something that you're trying to figure out here. They are sometimes other realities that you are currently living. So if you, say in high school, you had some romantic relationship and you ended up separating and going to different lives and that's what you're currently living. Well, in another reality, you stayed together and it worked. Or maybe it didn't work that well, but you stayed together. So in another life, you are sharing life. And if you dream about that person, maybe you own a piece of land somewhere and you're feeding chickens. Well, that's a life you are living. So it's just showing you that life is bigger than what it seems. And you have these different lives, and you have different experiences, and even though you're very happy, hopefully where you are, you're also happy in a different type of experience. It's just to broaden your, your views on the universe. Okay, so, farewell to the moon. Appreciate and enjoy the lunar light and cycles. She's really basking in that water, right in front, likely sitting on a rock, right in front of a great moon. So, lots of people are obsessed with full moons, they say all the crazies come out when there's full moons, but it, it can affect your, your behavior. Um, they didn't make up that story about the werewolf and full moons for nothing in another plane that does happen. But the moon holds and harvests a lot of energy, and there's different moons just to show you that one thing can have many different appearances, and to show, just to be something really nice to look at. And then you can have blue moons, and harvest moons, and really unique things that are very powerful and shows you how strong the universe is, but often people will like to stay up late and look at the moon and ponder because it's meditative, it's relaxing, and the moon is a great source of energy that you can tap into when you need comfort. So the last one, honor the masculine, it's a very muscular looking Almost like he's like a fish with his fins, but he's got tattoos, like wavy hair, he's sticking his chest out, he's very proud. So respecting men, embracing the masculine divine. It might be hard for some US people to handle right now, but it doesn't mean the masculine figure who's in charge. It could be your sons, it could be your brothers, your dads, your grandpas. Um, maybe you're giving someone a really hard time, and you can just be a little easier on them. But also, you can learn from them. You can start doing more things for yourself. Maybe learn how to f change your tire, how to mow the lawn, how to use a chainsaw. Um, maybe work out more and get more muscles. But... Yeah, it's just to show you that you can learn things from men, even if sometimes you struggle with them. So, that is all for the mermaids. Let's move on to another deck. Some of you are curious about this deck that was won. Because anytime you win something, there's a message in it. There's something worth you seeing. So, again, there's a book. 
Don't need that. Don't need that. And then there are <laughs> these cards with a prayer on them. So these are a little bit religious, but they can be expanded. And you can see they've got the gold sides, which is always fun. So they're very smooth, feel really nice to shuffle. So it's quite loud. Let's find, let's go with three. Three cards the viewers need to see. One. So this is let go of fear now. Two more. Sometimes they can take a little while till they show, but that's okay. They just have to shuffle through till they pop out. So make a commitment. And last one of the Archangel Michael. That one. It's time to leave this unhealthy situation. So let's start with let go of fear now. See, he looks very strong, he's standing tall, his head back, he's got a sword with him. That's my prayer. Archangel Michael, please help me feel safe and deserving of your guidance. Thank you for clearing me of heavy, toxic, or ego-based thoughts or feelings. This one is all about... See, deserving is a tricky word because everybody deserves everything. It's not like, oh, I've worked hard, so I deserve this. Everybody deserves everything. Everybody's worthy. But sometimes you can feel like you aren't deserving, so that's why they've worded it as, please help me feel deserving. What would be better is, please help me realize that I am deserving. So, there's some heaviness... Um, this really coincides with it's time to leave this unhealthy situation because this is saying clear me of heavy toxic thoughts or feelings this one says my prayer Archangel Michael what parts of my life do I need to focus on more closely right now thank you for helping me hear your answers and for giving me the courage to make healthy changes in my life so one is about letting go of whatever is not beneficial, whatever is negative, whatever is unhealthy, and the other is actually doing it, actually moving on, making these healthy changes. So some people like to pray with these things, some people it doesn't work, but you can just make an intention to focus on removing the bad and bringing in the good. And then it ties in perfectly with make a commitment. So really commit to making these changes and sticking by them. So this one says, my prayer. Archangel Michael, as the angel of courage and confidence, I call upon you to lend me your strength. Allow me to commit myself, my life, and my divine purpose. Please clearly guide me so I can fully open my heart to every experience. So yes, commit to myself, my life, my divine purpose. So this is about helping you find the positive situations, resolutions that you seek. So don't be afraid to let go of negativity. It's time to leave it all behind and really commit to making positive changes for yourself. Because ultimately you are number one. You are here for you, you enter this life alone, you leave alone, even though you have all sorts of relationships with others, and 
will continue to, but you have to put yourself first. On an airplane, they tell you to put your mask on first because you can't help anyone unless you are helped first. So, focus on you. Alright, I think we will go with Magical Unicorns next. Mother Dorian Virtue. Magical Unicorns. Again, there is a book, but Seth doesn't need it. So, they look like this. They also have the gold on the edges and feel really nice to shuffle. Can't often test cards because they're in packages and then you can't open it in the store, but you can pick what you're drawn to and then it'll be something that feels nice to use. So, for these, Rubik 7. Apparently the unicorns are popular. Cards the viewers need to see right now. Come out easily. There we go. Family culture. Oh. We've got two that are popping out here. Happy thoughts. It's always good. Happy surprise. Also, always good. Okay, we've got another two pop up three. This is gonna be a quick deck. So we've got creative. Curiosity. It's ironic they put the cat because curiosity killed the cat just popped in my head as a ridiculous thing. You are gifted. Oh, last one. Taking it sweet time must be stuck in the middle somewhere trying to pop out oh that's gonna be that one another good one laughter so this is a really good hand so let's just organize these because we got three really happy ones and we've got a couple creative ones, and then a couple others. So, let's start with the first one. Family culture. Learn more about your family's stories and history. Now, this may have something to do with a grandparent, maybe, who is bored and needs um, something to do, and teaching you about maybe traditions in your family, um, like recipes that your family usually makes, places that maybe your family travels to often. Could be about that, or maybe you are feeling a sense of disconnection and you need to feel connected. So if you learn more about your culture, maybe your family tree, that will give you some clarity on the subject. So. That's what that's about. Getting connected. Okay, and the other one that's a little... Kind of has to do with creativity, so... You are gifted. You are very intelligent and talented. It's like a shining unicorn there. So... Whatever it is that you're trying to pursue, you have talent in it. And you just have to keep moving towards it, keep asking about it, writing about it, allowing. You don't necessarily have to work towards it. You just have to allow things to work out for you. So 
So next, we have curiosity. Start a project related to something you're curious about. So there is a cat trying to play with the unicorn's horn. So if there's something that's been a black human kind of tickling at your thoughts that you've kind of just ignored or let go by or passed up, try it because what have you got to lose? It's fun. Um, routine can become mundane and boring and your life's supposed to be full of experiences and fun. So maybe you wanted to start learning how to knit or building a treehouse or learning how to drive standard. It doesn't have to necessarily be an art project, but something that you've been thinking about, maybe you've been dreaming about a lot. Randy has been dreaming about driving standard for years because <laughs> she tried and didn't work out when she was really young. Then Rocky got her to drive the Jeep. She actually drove it, no problem, and liked it. It was fun. No, she can do it now, but doesn't remember how to do it because it's so long ago. But all that dreaming, it was putting practice towards it so that it would be easy when someone finally taught her again. And if she drives, you know, a couple times and then drives once on her own, she'll have it down. Okay, next one. This one's pretty neat. Creative. Draw, paint, think, and act in creative ways. So you've got like a little sprite sitting on the rock. you got a stampede of unicorns going through the ocean. So, this one's quite cool. So this one is more to do with art projects now. So, if you like drawing, painting, um, you're having an issue with some kind of thing that you can't solve, try and get more creative about the solution. Randy was helping a woman at a computer tutor place who was looking for a job after not working for a couple of years. And Randy was talking to her about some of her experiences and she had come up with, I think a neighbor had this huge property with grass and she was older and she only had a push mower and it was really difficult to cut it all. And there's another neighbor who had a bunch of sheep and they needed to eat. So she put the two in touch and then the woman didn't have to mow because the sheep would come over and eat all the grass. And she thought that was really clever, but I mean, to a farmer it would be kind of second nature, but to someone else, maybe in the workforce, it wouldn't be so obvious, and it showed that she can come up with solutions in different and unique ways, so if you're struggling with something, try and get more out of the box with it, and then maybe a solution will present itself easier. Okay, so these are our happy cards. We've got happy thoughts, happy surprise, and laughter. Let's start with happy surprise. So, something very good is about to happen. You've got a little girl looking through a window at a unicorn. You can tell she's not scared. She's really enjoying it. She's curious. The curtains are kind of delicately framing the horse to show it's a very peaceful, serene moment. So, again, with the pregnancy cards, the children cards from earlier, this is a surprise pregnancy. Um... Maybe you've been trying for a long time and it's, you finally allowed it, maybe you forgot about it, so naturally it happens as soon as you stop thinking so hard about it. But also, just in general, there's lots of great things unfolding right now for lots of people and it'll be unexpected, maybe it's something you forgot about, something you've been asking about for a long time and then kind of left with the universe. And maybe there's some job opportunities coming up. Um, so it's just good things. And happy surprises usually followed, usually come from happy thoughts. 
really like this card. To feel happy right now, think about a memory or something else that makes you smile. So you've got this unicorn sitting on these steps with this castle and the clouds at the back and this big cloudy blanket and sunset or sunrise. It's a very nice card. So, if you're struggling with the subject, get off the subject. Think of a happy time. Call up an old friend and laugh at some old memories that you guys had. Um, think of your kids or nieces and nephews or grandkids or your dog or your cat. Uh, your lover, your best friend. Just think of something that makes you happy to lift yourself up a bit. And once you lift up, the happy surprise can take place. And happy thoughts are usually coincide with laughter. So, you need a good laugh. You can see there's two little sprites in pink and blue down there. There's a goose. There's a, another sprite riding a bird near the moon. You've got two friends laughing and riding a unicorn. And there's another little duck kind of chuckling to itself in the corner. So, Happy thoughts bring laughter, which bring happy surprises. They all go together. But you'll find the more and more that you do this, and the more that you stay uplifted, that they're not really happy surprises, they're happy expected. They're things that you've been asking for, and now you're in a state of allowing more often, more consistently, so they come faster to you. They seem like surprises when they take a while, but once you really get this stuff, it can happen instantaneously. You can have $100,000 tomorrow. You can have a boyfriend tomorrow. You can be engaged tomorrow. You can be cancer-free tomorrow. It's just your state of allowing and your degree of belief. So, if you believe in something, you want something, but you're hesitant because you don't quite believe it, it will work. But if you believe it with every fiber of your being, that's when it happens. So, if it's too hard to think about in a different way, just get off it. Just go have fun, go laugh, go have some fun experience. And then once you're, you've kind of just let it go to the universe and you're just having fun at that point, then that is when things will start unfolding and rolling out for you. Uh, meditate if you can. Often all these things that are great for you, they're hard to do when you're feeling lower, so ease into them. Don't force yourself to meditate, it won't be beneficial. Um... If you really enjoy doing laundry, some people do, just do the laundry. Um, listen to some happy music, watch a show that you find enjoyable, maybe watch a stand-up comedian. Randy and Rocky really like Dave Chappelle and he's got new sh two shows on Netflix. He's quite entertaining. You know, just do things that are fun, it's that easy, you don't have to work towards things. Whatever you want in your life, a relationship money, to be healthier, to lose weight, to get that job you've been wanting. Just go and have fun and be light and you'll find the more fun you have, the more problems you just brush off your shoulder, they're not even an issue anymore and then you'll get less and less of them. The more attention you give something, the bigger it grows. So if uh, you were parked in the parking lot and your vehicle got dinged. You're just so pissed about it. You're going to keep thinking about it. It's going to seem bigger to you. You're going to be more mad about it. And then you're going to attract another ding. But if you just kind of think, oh, oh well, it's just that's what happens to vehicles. Sometimes they get bumped. It still works perfectly fine. I can barely see it. I'm sure I can get a plunger and pop it out you just forget about it, then you're not going to attract that anymore, and 
you'll attract better experiences. I know, just forget about it. It won't be an issue. But if you fester on it, then it it grows and you get more of it. So when something happens, just try and be easy about it. If you're stuck in traffic, it's really irritating. You'll think, well, now this gives me time to think about this. Or put on a CD or put on the radio and think, well, now I've got more time to listen to music. And that's when traffic jams solve themselves. You don't get stuck for two hours. You just try and be easy about it and then it will let go. It's when people get really frustrated at traffic jams that they continue to build up. If it just takes one person to feel really easy about it because if people can see you relax, kind of, you know, listening to your music, nodding your head as they're stuck in traffic beside you, they'll ease off and then it spreads and then the traffic can move again more freely. So, you can also think of a traffic jam like, hmm, somebody must have got an accident, that sucks. I'm really happy and appreciative that I'm not in the accident. And then you can kind of twist it where it feels better. So, when things are tough, just move to fun things. When you can, when you feel better, go to a float tank, meditate, um, you know, go outside, listen to music, do writing on it, and then you'll just slowly get better. And then once you get to a certain point, you can just zoom up the emotional scale and feel really good really quick. And it doesn't matter how long it takes, it takes you to a day, if it takes you two weeks, if it takes you a month to really move up, you know, there's no point lying to yourself like, oh, I feel optimistic today, when you really feel frustrated and irritated. So, go at your own pace, and once you get up there, do all that you can to stay up there. Keep meditating, keep going outside, keep hanging out with kids, keep painting and writing, and listening to tapes and reading books and you'll find that when you do become lower you won't go so extreme you'll just go like an emotion or two and then you can get up so much easier so be easy on yourself and just uh, work towards getting back into the vortex and the cards do help uh, Randy is the one she be on a certain subject, maybe in general, because it's all based on your guides and on physical. So, I mean, this is just some of them they got. They got a couple more somewhere, but those are the ones that I could find in the mess. And you can use the pendulums to get answers. You can automatic write. You can. Go see a tea leaf reader. I can read your own tea leaves. You can get a book and practice. You can go see a channeler. You can call a channeler. You can email one. We do that. You can check out the website, radiantwildflower.ca. There's now a button that says book now. You can book a private session and ask whatever you want and get information. And... There's just so many avenues of things. There's all sorts of authors, so if Esther doesn't really work for you, you can go to Senia Roman. If she doesn't really work, you can go to Seth. Seth will always work. Um, anything. There's just so many different ways people write about the same subject because it doesn't always work for one person. It's like different types of learners. Some people they have written instruction and it works, if they have diagrams, if they have an actual physical object they can look at, like a puzzle, if someone just talks it out and they can hear it, there's different ways of learning, so there's different material for each person, and these books come from people asking, so you're not the only one. There's lots of people asking for something to be explained in a different way that makes sense to them and resonates with them, so 
lots of material on the same subject, just presented in different ways. And it all has the same principles behind it, and it's all beneficial. It all works. I mean, there's some books that they don't quite make sense, but those ones don't usually do well, and they're not put on shelves, and they cycle out. But the ones that are written from non-physical and work are the ones that are available right now. In the New Age sections, and the spiritual sections, sometimes the self-help section, that's where you'll find it. Or, you know, just Google it online and you'll find all sorts of stuff. So, that is our random, spontaneous session for today. I will go. We will post this to Facebook. I've been taking a break from writing because we've been busy traveling in Thailand. And pulling logs to build this house over there, so... We'll get back to the writing, because it's, it's so close to being done. It just needs that push, and they just need an artist. If anyone knows watercolor artists willing to do a painting, they will pay you. Just looking for a cover. I've got an idea in mind, and then once the two items connect, then the book can be published. And we will let everyone know, and you'll be able to buy it on Amazon. So, I will go now. Goodbye. Okay, so. It's pretty good, lots of cards. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go and <laughs> try and organize that shelf. And maybe do some writing on the book. I'm feeling pretty good.